All right, so now just a quick tutorial on how to use a caliper. First of all, I want to find a caliper simulation. I just typed in caliper simulation 0.05 millimeters, and I find this link at stefanelli.ng.britain.br. Click on it. This nice little simulator. I can move this back and forth and find measurements. These are measurements given in millimeters. Uh, notice first there are three ways to measure with a vernier caliper. You can measure this diameter or this dimension. This measures the outer dimension of an object, so you place these jaws around the outer edges. Or you can measure the inner dimensions using these jaws, and so you place these jaws inside the inner dimension. And then there's a third way, and it's not shown here very well, but this is a depth gauge. So there's a rod that comes out the end of the vernier caliper that gives the depth. So you would place this, say, uh, inside to find the inner height of an object or like if you wanted to find the tread on a tire or something along those lines, the depth of something. All three dimensions in this case equal 29.75 millimeters. I've taken a few screenshots, so let's just show how you read this. Here's a screenshot with 46.15 millimeters. First of all, it is in millimeters, though I prefer to give it in centimeters, 4.615 centimeters. Uh, so these numbers then refer to centimeters. Sometimes you'll actually have on the scale a little millimeter, but that doesn't mean these numbers actually refer to centimeters. All right, first thing, if you want to look at the first number, the four, the four comes from, you look at the zero on your vernier scale. That's what this scale is called, the vernier scale. Uh, and notice that it comes past the four. It's between the four and the five. So your very first number is a four. For your second number, the six, you look at the zero and it is at the six tick mark. So that's the six tick mark after the four and that gives you the six. Now the next two are a little trickier. To find the one, I go along the vernier scale from left to right and I find the first tick mark that lines up with the tick mark above it. Now there's some judgment call, like you might say actually that this zero lines up with the tick mark above it, or even this one. But actually in this simulation, it is the one that exactly lines up with the tick mark above it. Uh, as I said, there's some judgment call and it's sort of based on how well you can see it. So that's the one, and that's our third digit. Now our fourth digit comes from, uh, is that tick mark exactly lined up or is it the one thereafter? And actually on this one, the, the simulation says that it's not the one that lines up, but it is the, uh, the one in between the one and the two. So this number then is going to be a five. So if your digit is, if your tick mark on the vernier scale is in between uh, a one and a two in this example, then that last digit will be a five. All right, let's do some other examples. They're a little bit different in some cases. All right, so this is uh, 1.90 millimeters or 0 0.190 centimeters. Remember with our calipers, uh, you should have three decimal places measuring in centimeters. And that last digit should be either a zero or five. All right, the zero comes about because we're lining up after the zero. The one, because we're lining up after the first tick mark, between the first and second tick marks. And then the nine and the zero. So I follow along this scale and notice that none of these tick marks line up with the tick marks above them until I get to this one, the nine. Uh, and it's exactly on the nine, so that gives me the nine. And because it's on the nine, it also gives me a zero. Do another one. I think I picked one. Yeah, here we go. Uh, seven, seventy point six five millimeters or seven point zero six five centimeters, as I prefer. So first, get the seven. The zero on the vernier scale is after the seventh uh, large tick mark, the seventh centimeter mark. So that's seven. The zero comes about here. Zero, because uh, it's between the, the vernier caliper is between the zeroth and the first tick mark, right? So it's 7.0 something. 
And then our six comes about because if I follow along here and I find my first tick mark that lines up, it is this one right here, the tick mark between the six and the seven. So that gives me the six. And then because it's between the six and the seven and not either exactly on the six or exactly on the seven, I get a five. So if I have a tick mark on the vernier scale that lines up um, in between two digits on the vernier scale, then that gives me a five. If it's on a digit, then it would give me a six. As I said, there is some judgment call on this. So for example, what if I said instead that this was the digit that lined up, then the answer that I would get would be 7.060 centimeters. And that would be perfectly reasonable. There's some judgment call, uh, two or three tick marks on either side, you might, you might say. Thank <laughs> you.